Yo, this is the villain. Back with another video. And um, I actually got a headphone in, so y'all give me feedback as far as the um, the quality of the audio. But without further ado, today, oh, you know what, before I get into that, I'm gonna apologize in advance for my kids, if they're making too much noise. Uh, it is summer, and they're playing, and I let them play. And, uh, yeah, that's the only disclaimer I have so far. But today, basically, we're going to be talking about the jobs I had, uh, the jobs I've had up to currently. Now, yeah, some of these jobs with the company that I won't say and then there's jobs with companies that I will say that I don't mind saying. So you, you'll you notice that a few of them I speak on, the other ones not so much. Because uh -uh. this was gonna be uh, what's going on part five, but I'm gonna take a break on those and try to you know, come up with a few other topics, if you will. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Now, before I light this up, right, I wanted to say that, uh, you see, it's plenty, none. Uh, I smoked a whole pack of these, and, uh, I may not buy them again, like, if, which most places are going to have a good selection of them. But they weren't bad. You can still taste like a hit, hint of the banana, but they weren't bad. So I'm going to stick to my Russian creams. I'm going to stick to my vanillas. And I'm going to stick to my uh, original or sweets. Uh, so this is the last banana one. And actually, I want to trim that leaf. I don't want to be burning too much leaf before we start. Um, so we can actually start by my first, uh, my first official job, and that was at a grocery store back in 2012, literally, uh, yeah, literally like January 2012, um, uh, was my first ever job. I was a senior in high school. I had worked at this grocery store for about a year. Um, I did the cash register. I did carts. And then at a point in time, I was also in the produce section, you know, with like the fruits and veggies, things like that. You know, it was pretty cool. You got paid every week. This was 2012 and I was in high school, so I wasn't making that much money. I think I was making like $8 an hour. But at the time, I think they needed people and then also me being 18 and uh, at the time my school schedule I was doing 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 enrollment so I wasn't really at the high school I was more so at the college and then college classes like big hours like it wasn't bad um, I would have like a like a class for like an hour and a half or maybe two for an hour and a half total so three hours total and be done for the day um, so I was able to work uh, how I wanted to so even though I wasn't making a lot of money At the time, the, uh, the hours that I was working kind of made up for it. So that was all right. Um, I worked there for like a year, year and some change up until like February 2013. And then uh, I didn't have a job for like a long time. Um, but I was still in school at that time. But I didn't have a job until October of 2013. And at that time, I was working at uh, at Jimmy John's. Now, if you know anything about Jimmy John's, it's like it's a sandwich spot, but they uh their focus is basically on being fast, like you know, speedy. <coughs> so, um, I felt like you know. 
I got I got acclimated pretty quickly. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, because they gave you a menu, right? But on that menu, it told you everything that was on the sandwich and how to build the sandwich. So, uh, it told you the sandwich name, the number, the number of the menu item, um, and what came on the sandwich. And you basically had to remember, because of how fast paced it was, you basically had to remember the the sandwiches and how they were built and stuff. And uh, on each station, sandwich making station, they had four people. So that's how it was so fast. You had the person at the lead, who also usually had a headset. Um, they would talk about, they would basically start, they would be like the bread person. So depending on what kind of bread they wanted, um, how they wanted their bread, they would start there. And then we'll go to the person who did like the meat. So the person would add the meat and the cheese and then the third person would add like the toppings, like lettuce, tomatoes, things of that nature. And then the last person would be the person to wrap the sandwich and to call it out as they were wrapping it up. So that's how uh, that worked. And I had that job for like, from November, no, from October until, from October until May. So that was like seven months. Um, I hated that job because like, I'm not telling people to not take the job seriously, but when you're throwing a tantrum because somebody put the mail on the wrong side of the bread and you want to throw the bread down in a heated moment and all this stuff, um, I felt like that wasn't necessary. And that was basically the attitude of most of the most of the management. They were not chill at all. They were very uptight. Um, not saying... And I could deal with that, but it's like, okay, like, like, you gotta realize that we're grown, like, so respect goes a long way as well. And I don't feel like management really respected people or the owner of that, uh, for that store, for that matter. I don't feel like he respected people how they how they needed to be respected. Um, so I hated that job only worked three hours a day so 15 hours a week monday through friday hated it um so my next job was when dixie i can say that one <clears throat> my next job was when dixie and i uh and i started there after uh after jimmy john's so that was like uh may of 2014 to march of 2015. uh now that was cool um management was cool I was getting paid weekly, so it wasn't bad. Uh, I was making like 35 more cent than I was at the first grocery store, and I was making dang near um, almost like 60, 70 more cent than Jimmy John's. Um, it was cool. I did, uh, I did cash register and bagging but then i also did stock and grocery and the thing with me is that we never kept enough people to stock um for one and then also uh they kept switching the hours so it would be like from 11 at night to 7 in the morning or whenever we was done and then they changed it from like 3 to 11 and they kept changing the schedule and we never stayed fully staffed and uh, so I didn't like that. And so I ended up leaving there and working at O'Reilly Auto Parts. And I worked there from March of 2015 to December of 2017. And so I think currently that's the longest I've ever spent at a job was that two years and some change. Um, and you know, that was cool because I actually grew within that store and company a little bit because I started off as a part-time driver and then I eventually got moved to a full-time driver. So part-time driver, you will only work like three to four days a week, right? But how to schedule it would be, it would be like this. So you would work Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then you would work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. But then you'll be off for the rest of that week until the next week. 
and then it started over like that. Um, and then I ended up getting full time to where I was working uh, Monday through Friday, and then I would pick up some some weekend shifts if they needed. And then I ended up going to the stock crew, um, and I was pretty good at that. I uh, did that for a little bit, and then um, I went from stock. I switched stores. I ended up going to another store that I lived closer to at the time, and the the store I started at was a hub, so there was a whole lot more positions you could do. At the smaller stores, um, everybody does a little bit of everything. So <coughs> at the hub, <coughs> you can have people who deal with the customers who came in for their everyday cars. But then at the uh, hub, you also had people who dealt with the commercial customers for like the shops. So those was two different things. And then you had a person who did stock. That was a different thing. And then you had drivers for the other stores and shops. And those were two different things. So it was a whole lot more uh, positions at the hub. But when you're at a regular store, you're basically doing a little bit of everything. Like you putting the stock away, you're delivering a part to a store or to um, a shop. Uh, you're answering phone calls. Uh, you're dealing with commercial customers. Um, you're doing a little bit of everything. So. I kind of learned how to do that and then I became an assistant manager um, at that store and then 2017 I ended up leaving for like the summer to go work at the Winn-Dixie warehouse and I'm gonna just keep that short it was hell I hated it um, longer hours than they said it was they said 12 hour shifts it was cool but we ended up doing like 16 hour shifts and stuff like that and having to come back the same night and I wasn't doing that so and my youngest son was like one and I was missing a lot out on his life in like that one month. So that was absolutely not. So I ended up going back. Going back to around this uh like the beginning of like the school year. So like July, August of twenty seventeen. And then got us some trouble. Uh had left December. And then the next year I ended up in like March the next year of 2018 is when I started at UPS and so I worked there for a few months uh, I was outbound so we was loading the trucks to go out did that for a little bit it was all right I just didn't like waking up that early to go like throw boxes but other than that it was all right so I ended up doing that for three months and ended up working for this uh this this cleaning agency, the, like this temp agency, you basically go clean up different buildings in like the city. So depending on what town, what side of town you stayed on is where they sent you to go basically clean, whether it be a, a business or like a casino or like like a base or like an air, like an aircraft, hang, like things like that. Um, so I did that for like the summer. And then ended up going back to UPS, like August. Ended up going back there. And then while I was working there, I ended up getting another job at the museum. At a museum here, like cleaning. That was like December of 2018. And I was still working at UPS, so I was working both jobs. So by January, the museum made, took me from part-time to full-time. So I ended up leaving UPS, stayed at the museum. Um, and so I was at the museum from like December, 2018 to like, like June of 2018, <coughs> like May, June and uh, so I was there and then I ended up getting a gig at the hospital. And this is like my first regret because that was a uh, that was a good job. That was a that was a job that I knew I could have moved up in. And um there were circumstances that I could have avoided but I kinda couldn't as well. But 
that was like my first regret as a child. Like, damn man, that was like, that could have been a job to put me somewhere, like career-wise, you know what I'm saying? So, boom, I'm working at the hospital. I end up leaving in August. Um, Cause some things happened. So I had to end up leaving. Um, and then that September, I ended up working. I'm about to use this as a lighter. That's crazy. But I ended up leaving and going uh, on to UPS, not UPS, FedEx in September. And uh, so I worked there. I worked at the 5 to 10 like PM shift. Uh, I was in the truck, but then they ended up putting me on like the E reg line, was basically, which basically was like was either the stuff seventy pounds or higher, or like the weirdly shaped things that couldn't fit on a normal belt. So I ended up doing that. That sh that was hell. Couldn't even bring your phone in there at all, like at all. Um, so I hated that. Met some good friends there though that I still talk to to this day. Uh, but I hated that place. And then December of 2019, I ended up getting into a wreck. So when I got into that wreck, I wasn't working for a little bit. And then I'm trying to, because I'm doing this chronologically, so I'm trying to remember that event. So we went to, we took a family trip to Orlando to go to Disney. Boom. Yes, yeah, so this would happen. Yes, yeah, so that was like March, literally the week before COVID. So, boom, we do that. We get back, uh, get back home. I end up getting a job at a gas station. Uh, like I don't know if y'all know, but it's like, who's ever watching this? It's called Dailies. It's kind of, it's combined with like shells, but it was like it's basically like I can't say like a. A fancy gas station but it's one of the gas stations that have a deli you know like your Wawa's like that make food personally for you you can go order food in there so it's like one of those I was on the food side so I did that from like that was like March April so like April 2020 to like June because they weren't paying enough and at this point I had two kids but I always end up finding another job um, so I end up finding Walmart and Walmart at the time you know they was paying the most that I've gotten paid personally at that point <coughs> and they were paying weekly and I was getting hours uh, so like that was a good job so at for the time being so i was working at and ironically the side of town that the walmart was on i stay on that side of town i stay down the street from that one now but i lived on the completely other side of town so i worked there from like june to like august and then that's when i found the second longest job that i stayed at which is uh which is Amazon driving the vans. So I stayed there from August twenty twenty to August twenty twenty two. But in the midst of that, uh I ended up going back to that museum and I worked both jobs for a little bit and then I ended up getting a part time job at a Wendy's um towards the end of twenty twenty two. Or towards the end of twenty twenty one. Uh I did that, and then I ended up having my third kid. So I ended up just working at at driving the whole time. So I always had a job that whole two years. Like even though the second jobs may have came and went, I still had a job. So I was doing that. That was definitely the most money I was making. Uh, at the time, especially during COVID, it was all kind of bonuses. So I was making money. I was working day in there every day. So I was good. So I was working there. 
boom, I ended up going to Amazon the warehouse. Now, at the time, Amazon the warehouse was paying more than drivers, and it was a whole lot better benefits and things like that. And so, I was basically working at Amazon after that from then to basically up to like this year. Uh, but in between that, I worked at a food packaging place in like 35 degree weather, packing them like seafood and stuff like for meals. Um, I worked at AutoZone. Um, I think those was like the only two after like while I was working at um, the Amazon warehouse, it was like those two. And so I worked at those, worked at Amazon full time, that money was good. You could always pick up shifts. So I was doing that. Um, and then the beginning of this year, I ended up getting into another ring. So, I had to, I couldn't get to Amazon from where I lived at, which is the current side of town I'm on. So I had to give that job up. And so I ended up finding a job over here at Win Dixie again, um, the store. And that was a job where they weren't giving me any hours. I was working like 15 hours a week. I got three kids and right out of a wreck. And the managers wasn't budging. So I had to dip. So now I'm at another place. I'm not going to say where or what I do, but I'm at another place now. And like I told y'all, well, I don't know if I told y'all, but you know, money is, is decent. The hours are decent, but could be better. <laughs> so I'm trying to negotiate with my bosses something like a plan that can be put in place to where I can get more hours or a better schedule for me to be able to find a second job. Um, that's where I'm at now. And basically trying to get myself back together from this wreck uh, because it really set me back. things like that so on top of like other like dealing with other life things you know so uh yeah that's really what I'm on that's all the jobs I don't work uh yeah as you can see it's a lot and I'm not trying to keep switching jobs no more because I'm older now so I'm really trying to if I could just stay two places and kind of build myself up with one of them and kind of see where I can go, then I'll probably go from there. So, that's what I'm on. So, y'all see, right? See where we at. It's going on 23 and a half minutes. Tell me, bro. I don't play around when it comes to rolling, you know. Never have. And it's crazy because I just got a comment the other day, yesterday. <coughs> I smoked with one of my homeboys. He was like, man, every time we smoke, bro, like, you be proud of these, bro. Like, I just been smoking long enough to know how to roll. Like, if I don't know how to do nothing else, I know how to roll. With the best of them, every time. But see, like this one, this banana one, I'm not really getting the hints of the banana on this one. <coughs> so I wonder if this is like, if this is just one with not as much of the flavor or is there something different? I don't know. But this video is going on 25 minutes. And yes, I'm going to post this one. For sure, for sure. But I appreciate y'all, man. Um,